Hey y'all, what's up? It's Ariel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm coming to you raw, like no makeup in my kitchen, scarf turban on. I gotta throw the hoops on. I had a little razzle dazzle, you know. But um, I have been MIA just because I was just obsessing over perfectionism, not about my life, but just videos. And I just, it was becoming obsessive. So now I am just going to record from the heart and whatever happens, happens. And that's just how I feel. This is actually my second time filming this intro because I was using my camera and the memory card act like it would want to corrupt in the middle of my filming. So I'm actually very frustrated about that, but whatever. We're gonna rock it out. We're gonna record um, this video about water pie. Now, I'm trying to put it right here. I saw this picture in these posts about water pie floating around today and I was like, what is this water pie? Like, I am intrigued. So, um, I'm intrigued. I was kind of disgusted at first, but it has only like five ingredients. Um, the recipe that I saw, um, I was talking about it with someone on Twitter and she sent it to me. Sorry, I'm looking at the recipe right now. Um, she sent it to me and I was like, okay, that seems simple enough. It has five ingredients or six ingredients. Um, you need a nine inch deep dish pie crust, a cup and a half of water, flour, sugar, vanilla, and butter. And so I'm actually going to show you all of this right now. I already kind of started on it because like I said, I was recording this earlier. So I've already poured the water into the pie crust. Um, you use a cup and a half of water, you pour it into the pie crust, and I just mix the flour and the sugar. So it's one cup of sugar and four tablespoons of flour and let me also say um this recipe is from southernplate.com i'll be sure to link it down in the description box because i want to give credit where credit is due i'm not out here just stealing recipes and you know banking off not banking but <laughs> but like you know doing all this and not giving credit and also my oven is preheating to 400 degrees already so i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the pie and what i've been making and pick up where I left off. So hopefully you've caught up and I'll kind of fill you in as well. So let's hop right to it. All right, this is not an industrial kitchen and um, I've already made a mess, but I'm gonna try to make this as, I'm just gonna go with it because I'm not, I'm not gonna stress about this, but I already put um, a cup and a half of water. It said to just use tap water, that's fine. And I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna even get my water bottles out. I'm gonna use tap water. I'm, I'm just gonna go there. So um, the water, you pour it in there, and then I took the cup of sugar and the four tablespoons of flour, and don't stir it when you put it in there. So the, I was in the middle of actually putting them here in this pie crust. Um, I saw in the pictures, they just, you know, sprinkled it, and I feel like I am doing like a recess project. You know how you make like mud pies and stuff? I mean, this is probably not the best time to compare it to mud pie, but. You know how you just like make little things at recess when you had nothing else to do and then just says sprinkle evenly this is me sprinkling in the water so here's our mixture but do not stir um next we're gonna take two teaspoons of vanilla so let me get my teaspoon out this is a half of one so i'm gonna use four of these but two teaspoons of vanilla and you're just gonna drizzle it over. And again, we're not stirring anything. So this is so odd for me. So we're just going to one, that was half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, oh, teaspoon and a half. And there we go, two teaspoons of vanilla. And then, you know, butter has the lines for the tablespoon. So you have the pats of butter. And it said, just place the pats of butter on top. So I guess I'll just, you know, put them on top. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's my pats of butter while my oven is preheating. I have 40 more degrees to go. Um, I'll pop it in the oven for on 400 for 30 minutes. So we're going to do that. Actually, I read a tip. And it was about using, because you're going to have to cover the, um, the the edges at one point. So let me wipe my hands off. Grab my cloth. Wipe some of this down, child. Grab my foil. Don't judge my off-brand foil. Sorry, mom. You know. Sorry. And it said to... Goodness, I'm just over here. A mess but you know what it is whatever it says before you do this tear up the large piece of foil 
large enough to cover your pie dish. Cut an X. Cut an X in the center. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Whatever. Um, the point is to cut an X. So I'll just tear that and peel it back so that I y'all, I don't know how to, I can't. This ain't working. Sorry, I had to waste that foil. I'm just going to tear off some strips so when it's time for me to put this on the edges, it will be ready to go. So again, 400 for 30 minutes and then we're going to reduce the heat to 375. Um, put the foil around the edges so it's not too brown and we're going to cook for another 30 minutes. So that's going to be our additional hour total. So I'm going to pop it in. I will pop back on here once that's done. But after that is finished, um, it'll still be watery when you take it out the oven apparently. Um, but it'll it'll kind of form a gel once it cools. So it says allow to cool completely and then we'll cover it and place it in the fridge until it's chilled before we cut it so it's about 8 30 so i'm just gonna let it chill overnight and then we'll see oh oven's ready so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in all right my timer just went off and i put this foil around the edges and brought the temperature down to 375 and now we are going to wait 30 more minutes. All right, y'all. So I actually took my uh, scarf turban off. And I'm not ready to give y'all that raw reel yet <laughs> with me in this um, wrap. But this is what it looks like straight out the oven. It was nice and bubbly. It still is very watery. But it's supposed to gel up a little bit more. Um, some of the foil was on there. And I could tell, you know, it's not just straight water. It kind of is like a gel. So I'm gonna let this cool for till I'm ready to go to sleep and then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge. And like I said, in the morning, we will do a taste test. Yes. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. It's probably too early to be eating pie. It's 9.30, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, here is the pie. It cooled down, I put it in the fridge overnight and so we're looking like. So it's not liquidy, it's nice and solid for the most part so i'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece and try it so whew. okay let's see <laughs> all right here's the pie it's jelly cut kind of funny, but we're going to try it right now. I'm so scared. Now I'll be. Y'all, I'm shook. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'll be. It's good. It's really good. Um, it's pretty much you just eat one slice because I'm a, just imagining from all that sugar and butter, it's not good to eat a whole bunch. But this is good. This is okay this is a perfect example of making a way out of no way i wow wow we could learn a thing or two i mean six ingredients with water as the base wow i'm shook so i would give it like a seven and a half eight out of ten I mean, it's no sweet potato, pecan pie or anything, but it's good. It's actually really good. It's like, 
it's kind of like a custard. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's good. And I would definitely say try to make this at home. Like, try it for yourself. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie to you. This is actually really good. I'm about to see if my husband's going to try it. He's probably not. But it's good. This is how you make a way out of no way. Wow. I'm about to look up more recipes from that era because this is good. So, hopefully you try it. Let me know in the comments if you decide to try water pie or if you've ever tried water pie. Um, I want to know. What's your experience like? Try it again. I mean, all I had to do was really go buy a pie crust. I had everything else on hand. Ah, I'm so shook right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me know if you try it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Like, what it, when you hear water pie, it's just like, are you serious? But yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, be on the lookout for another video. We'll see what pops up on my spirit. And in the meantime, y'all be safe in these streets and have a happy holiday. Bye. <laughs> I'm just popping back on here to let y'all know my husband tried it. I didn't even have to fight with him. He tried it and he said, not bad. Not bad at all. And he's a picky eater, y'all. He don't he don't just be trying stuff and he will give me the real. So go try it. <laughs>